Hi, beloved. In the Lord, my name is A. Hey, this is Heavenly Host Vision Weekly. I'm so glad to welcome you to yet another prophetic word. May the Almighty God bless you and keep you safe, sound, and protected. Beloved, someone tried to drag you into their mess, okay, but you dodged the bullet. Someone tried to drag you into their mess, but you dodged the bullet. Oh, glorious God, we thank you. We come before you this moment. In your presence, O oh Lord, that may you continue to take absolute control over our lives, O oh God. Grant us the protection that we need, the peace that we need, and the discernment that we need. In the name of your Son, Yahushua Mashiach. Hallelujah. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. So someone, you know, got themselves in a situation and they, they tried to, like, implicate you. They tried to, like, implicate you. In that situation but they didn't come to you as though they wanted to implicate you they came towards you as though they were trying to you know as though they were trying to be friendly and that they were trying to communicate some things with you and that they had some things that it would be good to involve you in it you know you thought it was good you thought everything was was right until God communicated and said, listen, where you are heading towards is, is leading towards doom. God communicated to you. Is it through some, we have someone that you, you were trying to explain things to, or God communicates to, to you through dreams or through signs, through discernment, and you realize that someone was trying to implicate you in a situation or trying to involve you in a situation that didn't concern you at all. They got into their mess and they were looking for someone to like just push situations towards. And they felt like you were the one, you were the scapegoat <laughs> to try to push things towards you. But God intervened in that situation and delivered you and saved you. You are saved, beloved. It was God who saved you. So you don't get in that situation, that mess that someone was trying so hard to jack you into. For some reason, you didn't understand why you backed off. For some reason, you didn't understand why you felt so discouraged about a situation or about somebody. You didn't understand why you just suddenly like gave up on someone or on a situation. It was God. That was signaling you and trying to protect you, trying to prevent you from getting yourself into a very messy situation. The Lord is with you and shall continue to grant you more discernment to know what is real and what is false, to know who is real and who is fake, to know what to do and what not to do. Or God is going to continue, God's going to like continue to raise your discernment. And putting a protective shield all around you. It was supposed to be something that was going to like just destroy your life. But God had to save you. Hallelujah. He is faithful and shall continue to save you in all your ways. You should not make mistakes. You should not get yourself involved in things that don't concern you. In Jesus' mighty name. Faith is our vehicle and love is our strength. Hallelujah.